The second country that is coming off the list is Pakistan. Pakistan has been on FedEx gray list since 2018. Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Financial Action Task Force Grey List. Now recently, the FATF has removed Pakistan and Nicaragua from its Grey List, citing significant progress by Pakistan in improving its anti-money laundering and combating financial terrorism regime. According to FATF, Pakistan has recently addressed all the 34 items given by the FATF. Now, the decision will enable the country to get foreign funds from financial institutions like IMF, World Bank, Asian Development Bank, etc. to overcome its economic situation. So, let us talk about the FATF. The Financial Action Task Force is the Global Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing Watchdog. FATF is also known by its French name, Groupe D Action Financiere. Now, T. Raja Kumar began a two-year term as the president of the FATF on 1st July 2022 and he is of Indian origin. The secretariat is located at OECD headquarters in Paris and its decision-making body, that is the FATF plenary, meets thrice per year. Talking about the members, the FATF currently comprises 37 member jurisdictions and two regional organizations, namely the European Commission and the Gulf Cooperation Council. In 2010, India was taken as the 34th country member of the FATF. Now, there is only one country, that is Indonesia, and 28 international organizations with the FATF observer status. Moreover, there are nine FATF-style regional bodies, that is, associate member of the Financial Action Task Force. First, Asia-Pacific Group of Money Laundering, APG. Second, Caribbean Financial Action Task Force. Third, the Council of Europe Committee of Experts on the Evaluation of Anti-Money Laundering Measures and Financing of Terrorism, the Eurasian Group. Fifth, Eastern and Southern Africa Anti-Money Laundering Group. Sixth, the Financial Action Task Force of Latin America. Seventh, Intergovernmental Action Group Against Money Laundering in West Africa. Then there is Middle East and North Africa Financial Action Task Force. And lastly, we have the Task Force of Money Laundering in Central Africa. Now, talking about the mandate, the FATF was established in 1989 by a group of seven, that is G7 Summit in Paris, initially to examine and develop measures to combat money laundering. In 2001, the FATF expanded its mandate to incorporate efforts to combat terrorism financing in addition to money laundering. Now, in 2012, it added efforts to counter the financing of proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Now, together, the 40 recommendations on money laundering and 9 special recommendations on terrorism financing set the international standard for anti-money laundering measures and combating the financing of terrorism and terrorist acts. FATF maintains two types of lists. First is the grey list and another one is the black list. Now, talking about the black list, countries known as non-cooperative countries or territories are put in the blacklist. These countries support terror funding and money laundering activities. Now, as of October 2022, the following countries were on the list. North Korea, second Iran and third is Myanmar. Further on talking about the grey list, countries that are considered safe haven for supporting terror funding and money laundering are put in the FATF grey list. These countries have to comply with certain conditions laid down by the FATF failing which they run the risk of being blacklisted by the watchdog. Consequences of being in the FATF grey list includes economic sanctions from IMF, World Bank and ADB, reduction in international trade and international boycott. Now, if we talk about the current FATF grey list as of October 2022, after the removal of Pakistan and Nicaragua, 23 countries or territories such as UAE, Yemen, Syria remain on the list. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements relating to the Financial Action Task Force. First, the FATF was established in 1989 by a group of 20, G20 Summit. Second, its secretariat is located at the OECD headquarters in Paris. Now which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So, as we know, the first statement is wrong. That is, the FATF was established in 1989 by a group of seven. That is, in the G7 summit. And the second statement is correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. That is, two only. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.